Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. Happy Tuesday. Hi, official Jamie. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Welcomes, welcomes, welcomes. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. You guys are doing the do with the thumbs up this evening. Yes, yes. I'm loving it. Loving it. Keep them coming. As soon as you're happy, just hit the thumbs up button because YouTube like it and so do we. Hi, Sunshine. <laughs> Where's the whole on this? You say YouTube like it and so do we. Yeah. <laughs> hey sunshine good evening to you good evening good, good evening. after morning we're doing good official jamie hope you're good too mm -hmm. kathleen laverne you're early today good evening to you bless up bless up bless up mm -hmm. and kathleen and and friends please hit the, the thumbs up button please hit the thumbs up button as soon as you join mm -hmm. We're waiting on some more folks to come on in, guys. But thank you so much for joining us today. And we are officially... You ready to sing the song? We are officially... <laughs> live, live, live. Yardy Belly is live. Live in the kitchen and live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yardy Belly is live. Yard belly TV we la 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 Cooking 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 Yard belly is cooking We're cooking in the morning and cooking in the evening Cooking 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 Yeah man Yard belly is cooking Yard belly TV we cooking 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 Stop us stop us So why don't you stop it <laughs> So guys, as you may see in the in the title, um, did I put a nice title? Yeah, we're doing a nice title today. And this title is also... Um, I want you to put slash gourmet cooking at home. All right, I'm going to do that. No, I'm going to run off of the live one. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. So guys, anybody eat Brussels sprouts? Do we have any uh, Brussels sprout lovers Brussels, on Brussels the live? Brussels sproutians. I am a... Uh, uh late brussels sproutian yeah <laughs> i didn't think that i liked brussels sprouts why because i heard bad things about brussels sprouts good yes. evening prayer kid big up yourself your prayer kid you want to see me i look slimish belly i got down and i'm just looking so nice she does stop look for me every now and then guys me see her I make me see her a catch my eye a catch her i look for me like she says hmm, hmm, oh la la you know, that guys, I'm just so happy. Denise Harris, good evening, Denise. Thank you, Mr. Jamie. Good evening, J Denise. You know, you, you didn't even check the title, you just say food. Just <laughs> pick up so today, guys, we're we're making um a dish and, and it, it, this is also a, a good reason, uh, well, a good explanation to you guys that when you go to your local supermarket, if you're going to one of those nice supermarkets that they also offer you like little little um, food tips and menu tips and things like that. You can you can do them, right, Mills? Mm -hmm. Because it's not every day you know. Oh, Denise says it bother her stomach. She can't eat it. Oh, Denise, some people, yeah, yeah. But if some people's stomach it gives you well, like gas or something. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Thank you so much, um, Kathleen, Thank for sharing. You. Kathleen. Thank you, guys. But but again, Denise, you can translate this type of recipe to maybe spinach or maybe kale or maybe even cabbage or callaloo, you know, depending on, 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 on your your mm -hmm. particular um uh, uh what do you call it? Preference? preference. Yeah, preference. In short, you can turn your hand make fashion. You can turn your hand make fashion. So what we did was guys, as you see the title, you know that we're making Brussels sprouts. We're also doing some some fish. The fish is not part of the deal the, the fish is just something that me and the wife envision eating because we're trying to go healthy to me may i look at yeah <laughs> uh, but in our local Publix, guys them have these little, little little cards if you're in south florida you know what i'm talking about they have these little cards and they have some in the meat section they have some in the vegetable section 
and this this is the one that we picked up so this is as a copycat from Publix and the wife said oh la la and guys let me just tell you if you like pork it have bacon in it somebody me not call no name is a freak when it comes to bacon um, get fit and done, you have to log off because this have pork, you have bacon, right. you not eating bacon. Or you want to scrape off the bacon and kill. <laughs> <laughs> so the wifey, no, but sister Simone eat bacon, so whatever, get fit, whatever. Yeah. So the wifey, I mean, I call no name, I mean, some people that I know, they will block and lock down any traffic for bacon. So, all right. You can, you can show them the list of ingredients now, baby. I, I mean, I'm just... I just gotta just keep on working on my my um nice looking self. Yeah. So la 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 la. Alright, lovely people. Let's switch the cam cam. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is our ingredients, guys. We have our Brussels sprouts. And I'm gonna share with you guys where we got this stuff because we're we're nice like that. Mm-hmm. So we got the Brussels sprouts from Aldi and this is one pack of Brussels sprouts. This is 16 ounces. We're going to try to be better with measurements too. So we have 16 ounces of Brussels sprouts halved. Mm -hmm. We have four slices of... Wait, tell them where we're using applesauce. We're using applesauce. Ray, we're using applesauce. Give me the applesauce, please. So we're using some applesauce, but it's unsweetened. Very important. Unsweetened applesauce. Uh, yeah, so we have five slices of bacon. They asked for four, but hey, four bacon down, uh, cut nothing right here. So. <laughs> hey, guys, stupid. <laughs> How is it that you're telling me about recipe I When I said use two apples, four. no, the recipe says four bacon. Apple. Four bacon makes no sense. So, anyway, five slices wow. of bacon, or four, or three, or none, whichever is your preference. Mm -hmm. And then we have an, an apple. A sweet red apple of your choice. Yeah, and pretty much those are the four basic ingredients. Bam, 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 you, and the applesauce. All right, so yeah, we only need a half cup of the applesauce. So don't don't mind the amount that we have here. I'm going to measure. Is, this is the meat one? No. All right, so my order of business now, guys, is to pretty much cut this into one inch pieces, you know. Kind of to mimic the size of the Brussels sprout. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. Mm -hmm. I need my cutting board, please. Thank you. Chef, we use our, um, guys, we, we don't really use this cutting board. Um, we actually cut fruit on this cutting board. So you have to have cutting boards for different, um, different things. All right. So now she's cutting our apple and she's just going to try to core it. Um, you have to use the little paring knife to do the coring. Apple core. So, and guys, we, we, we are, I'm trying to work into using multiple um, knives to make sure that whatever we're doing is done the proper way. So we have the coring knife different from the, um, the big knife. That knife that she uses is not the chef's knife, but the chef knife in use right now. So she to... How comes nobody grows apple tree in their homes a lot of people grow apple tree in their home it's just that a lot of apple trees are not grown where we live oh okay mm -hmm. but a lot of people grow apple man all right so these are the, the apples right there and guys let me do, turn my attention to the fish guys we have a beautiful fillet snapper fillet here and we got this snapper fillet at um bj's all right, and the snapper fillet wasn't bad. There was two, two fillets that came in the container, and the, the, the price was just $16. All right, so look, let me turn it around, make you see what I go on. Yes, so look on that. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm, I'm telling you about, when I talk about fresh, there's something fresh, 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 and nice. May I tell you that straight? So with this, now we know so this, this can serve the two of it. Just one, one piece of fish can serve. Sorry, guys. One piece of fish can serve both of us. All right. So I've already washed and cleaned it. And now I'm just, I just put the, the knife and score it a little bit along the, 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 the back there. And the next thing I'm going to do now is to just adjust my camera down so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to just cut this fish. So pretty much what we're going to do is 
measure so that me get the bigger piece i'm just always gonna measure so that i can get the bigger side of the fish and she can get the smaller side wow don't do that what do you mean i'm, I'm measuring the fish so it's straight down the middle see and so it's supposed to measure guys am i doing the right way straight down the middle <laughs> that look unfairish it's not unfair it's two nice sliced fish see that good size don't guys don't don't i did a good job with the measurement see that watch it watch it perfect measurement mm. you see me and you just want to course you know just core the fish otherwise what will happen is this the fillet will do with sort of um curl up by you you don't want that you don't want it curl up right all right and as i said before it is washed already and thing and thing and we just yeah slice this so all right and then i'm gonna flip it around make it see the nice clean flesh and i'm gonna grab my pepper this is black pepper right there and let's add some black pepper to that side and then i'm also adding a little i'm gonna use just a little of your the, the cajun slap your mama seasoning instead of salt i'm just gonna use a little of the cajun seasoning because we don't really want extra salt you know so that's that right there spin it over and do the same thing on this side pepper and guys may i tell you if you get fish like this for dinner one of the things with us as caribbean people especially jamaican people we feel like say we have to get this whole heap of meat whole heap you understand no it's not absolutely necessary to get this whole heap of meat when we are cook pat that down wash my hands Look at that. That look good though. Baby, look how it look nice on the camera. Mm -hmm. And then drain off my hand, dry off my hand. And now I'm just going to pretty much take up this, come over to where my stove is. And I have my oil right here. I have a nice, you know, good amount of oil. Um, and I'm just going to, I turn the stove down because I don't want it super duper splash for me. And I'm just going to add my fish and guys I'm putting it skin side down yeah now I'm gonna turn up the stove a little bit right like so like so and I'm just putting the skin side down put it and you notice I'm putting it away from me so any splashing supposed to go on it go on away from me all right so I'm just leave that for me to just sear turn up the, the, the stove and make it sear over here the wifey already the bacon grease she just she just um basically throw away the bacon grease and leave a little bit in the bottom of the container and now and now she's gonna add and according to the recipe again guys according to the recipe that's what she's doing and now she's just gonna add her sorry guys gonna add her brussels sprouts please put the brussels sprouts first as much as possible um so that the apples stay a little bit nice and crispy and try to put the Brussels sprouts down, face down, as much as possible. As, as much as you possibly can. I'm just saying. I'm not, you know, because Brussels sprouts do take a little bit more time to cook. So, you know, it's a hearty, hearty vegetable. So you want to make sure you utilize them the right way. And guys, if you notice my fish curl up like, you just press it down. You can use a spatula if you don't have chef hands like me. And you know, the non stick pan is also nice and good. So just press it down so that the skin don't curl, you know. All right, let me put my camera stationary so that you can see both pots, both pans at work at the same time. All right, right there, like so, like so. My pan is Anson and Denny's wisdom. What else is doing this? Well, it's not in. Mm -hmm. All right. And this, this um, salmon, guys, let me just explain. This salmon, I'm Hi, also... Friend. Oh, snapper, sorry. This snapper, I'm also going to be basing it with some, um, a little bit of brown butter that we're going to create. And so we're going to just pretty much allow the, 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 um, the skin to sear. 
And then for the top, we're not really gonna really to spin it. We're just gonna base it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it. But we're gonna come back and do the niceties on the top. And I'm gonna add some capers. Let me show you the capers that I'm, I have here. You know, capers are, are, it's like a little flower, the bud of the caper plant, I don't know, but it's something like that. And it really is packed in brine and that's one of the reasons why I didn't add any extra salt. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of butter. And just nice it up, you know, and make it, make you like it, make you like it. I'm also gonna put garlic, baby. Okay, you Yeah. You know me already, I can't just do the fish boring, I have to do the fish nice-ish. That's mm -hmm. nice over there guys, see what this, you're doing with, this the, is, with the Brussels sprout? This is gourmet dinner at home, okay? <laughs> so they're charging you like maybe 50 bucks for this in the restaurant? Oh yeah. So you can create it for less than half the price. Oh yeah. So now I'm just adding my garlic slices and just allow that to do its thing. And you guys, you want to monitor the heat on the, on the stove, you don't want it too hot. You want to make sure it's nice, you know, so, you know, and watch it, watch it, the, 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 the um, what do you call it, the, the, the oil, the splattering of the oil, just watch that, because you don't really want it to splat up on, you know. How it looks so far, guys, it looks like something I keep. Yeah, good. Want to put the, put the garlic oh, in. <laughs> And guys, this is a regular, regular um, supermarket trip that turned into this type of meal, you know. Again, you could buy a fish at Publix, you could buy whatever, you know. Again, I'm not, this is not an endorsement video. It's just where we shop. If you shop somewhere else that have the same type of um, um, facility, whatever, it's also good for you. All right, more. Yeah? Why? Mm. Alright guys, so watch this now. Look on that, look on that. Nice. You look on that babe? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Look on this guys. Perfecto. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I might come over here so my camera. I'm gonna put my camera and show now I'm going with the Brussels sprout. And I'm gonna come right back over to my fish. See, the Brussels sprouts is getting that nice um, burnt color on the Brussels sprouts. Now you want to add your apple. You understand? As soon as you don't do that, you have to add our apple. All right. And let me get back to the fish. Now we're going to get some butter. Now we're going to get some butter and just add to the pan. And we're going to turn the stove down. Because we don't want the butter to, to burn. We're going to add some butter to the pan. And that's going to be our basin liquid. You know, that garlic in that butter is going to be nice and beautiful. And that will also be somewhat like a gravy. Alright, so now you just add your butter in. And I'm using some, um, what do you call the butter you have um, Wheat. With butter from Publix. Again, this one sounds like a Publix video, but it's not. Okay. Guys, please spam Publix in the comments. Tag Publix in the comments. Thank you very much. Spam them. Spam them. Okay. All right. All right. So now I'm gonna add my, my capers. All right. Go ahead, baby. All right. So now we go ahead and adding the apples. And the I'll, I'll, a lot of people may not even think that apples can be used in a savory dish. Right. You know, but look at that, guys. Look at that. It looks so nice. Mm -hmm. Babes, it pretty, see? Freaking bad. Trust me, I can't wait for that dinner. I'm going back there in a few. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go over there, um, you know. All right, so guys, to, to the capers here. All right, as I said, capers are, are like some little flowers from the plant. And I'm just adding some capers now to my, to my dish. All right. Subscribe to official Jamia. Yes, she has a lot of food related videos that you guys can enjoy. Boot bang, cooking, baking, and the work.
All right, guys. So you wanna go cut up the bit, the, the thing? All right. So guys, look at this now. You wanna do it on the camera? So guys, I'm about to turn this off. All right. I'm about to turn this off now. Look at this. And this is it, you know, guys. I'm telling you, son. The most I want to you know this now is a little piece of thyme and a little pepper. Because we know what to get back with little flavors, right? Catch back our regular Jamaican flavors. What is the time, the baby? Mm -hmm. And guys, I, I saw a place today, man, I may tell you, the first in a long time I've lost it after a restaurant. So here's the time, guys. I'm just going to add my two pieces of time, a couple of spread of time. But I saw a place today, and guys, the place was just looking restaurant. It was saying, Yard Belly, come here. Come here. Don't be here. Mm -hmm. All right, babes, you ready to come see what's going on over here now with the bacon? So, guys, this is where the wife, you know, catch her link. Make sure to put the camera on her now for accountability sake. You set it? Yeah, the camera is there. <laughs> Zoom it more if you can. Alright, now come this. Alright guys, so we're gonna cut our bacon into like one inch pieces just to keep the, the sizes consistent a little bit. So we're cutting up our bacon. Again, this is for accountability while I have the camera on her. Otherwise, you will see the bacon start diminish. <laughs> Why? Not for taste, please. So you can go on, sorry. One pork. Alright, so pretty much we're going to be adding the bacon once the, once the, the, the Brussels sprouts is done sauteing and everything. You pretty much just turn off the stove, add your bacon your salt and your pepper and you're good to go that's it sometimes we feel like we're for over season everything and you know make right. things enjoy the natural flavors of our food sometimes natural because we're in the habit of using garlic powder with everything mm, all powder. purpose season with it no man all purpose. we're ready it from the baby dear <laughs> so you see oh some of the things have a nice char Mm -hmm, that's what we're trying to get. A nice char. Ooh, so he just. This, guys, this is where it just became gourmet now. 100%. <laughs> when you add the tomato, they say it done. Gourmet, we say. Mm -hmm. And that's it, you know, the fish is finished, you know. Hmm? Fish is done. Guys, how much did I pay for that dish? How much would you guys pay for this dish? Would you pay a lot or a little? Ouch. And with Brussels sprouts, guys, it takes a little it takes a little while to cook, but at the same time you're not trying to get it to be soft. It's so supposed you're to be crunchy. You're adding in the bacon now? Yeah, you can add it now. So we're adding our bacon. And then almost immediately I'm going to be adding a cup of the, the applesauce. Hold on, let me clean it. Back to work. I love you all. Ricky Moore, good Look. evening, good evening. So see, we're adding the applesauce, you guys. And this is going to add a nice little, um, slightly sweet. This is unsweetened applesauce. It's like almost like a sauce, like a gravy. Yeah. And then we need our pepper and our salt. And then that's it. A 
for the pepper, baby? Mm -hmm. The pepper. Turn off your stove because it's too much ready. So we're just putting a little bit of black pepper. A tad bit of salt. No. Sea salt, please. Make a short So no. Sea salt, please. Himalayan sea salt. Mm-hmm. And pretty much this is it for our bacon apple Brussels sprouts. And our pan seared snapper over here so mm -hmm. okay when you present fish you normally present it with the skin side down or up um you, it depends on what you want to show really um i don't know how to present this guys tell me we must put it skin side up or down i, I like it up but well, you can do one up and one down so we're gonna put down our Brussels sprouts first into a heap and then we're gonna put this snapper on the top. Get one of them, use one of them. So here we go guys, our plate. And guys, one of the things we're gonna work on is we're gonna get some new plates because I the same color plate all the time. Don't be able to change up the modus operandi. Would cooking wine work instead of applesauce? I think so, Tanya. You could use cooking wine. Um, the because we were sticking with the recipe, it specifically asked for applesauce. But you could definitely go with the cooking wine. Um, and you might get a nice little tangy more, a little tangy vibe more. Let me do it, yeah. So, you want to center use up the center of the plate and them always do the little thing where the, the, the you can start use um this one if you want to yeah because you want to make sure so people them see them the, the, the different elements them so and guys because we're plating this is not just for say the plate it's for so also for the thumbnail that's why I see we're going on with myself right now, like styling it up. Mm -hmm. I guess I have no red skin on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're putting the bacon, make sure that the pieces of bacon there, which part it is nicely seen. Apple this so. Next piece of apple over this so. One, one, yes, no, that's good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now come with our King of the plate. Then he says looking good. And you said you wanted the skin side up. Put a neat little piece of fish on the top, like so, like so. And you're gonna put a nice twig, sprig of the, the thing there. The time. Wait a day, man, I don't know. And of course, you have to drop in a couple of tomatoes because the tomatoes are part of the whole fish vibes. And then you wanna get some of your capers out. And a little saucy vibes with a little of your brown butter. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. You could probably drop a tomato on the top. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not over. But you can put some green, you can put a piece of, um, a piece of, oh, lemon, they have some lemon slices. Okay. So two lemon slices here. Where well, we'll put the lemon now, babes. 
right there. Right there, sir. <laughs> Please Uber my plate. <laughs> Sunshine says so she definitely making it this weekend, but without the bacon, I don't eat meat. Then me, if we come up with a fish bacon, you know. <laughs> yeah, or you can do a vegan version of the bacon. Mm -hmm. Where did I put the the cover for the, the thing? There? So guys, this is it. Our quick 30-minute meal, actually, you know. This is a, not a 30-minute banger. With this delicious bacon apple brussels sprouts with our pan seared snapper mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nice and light and healthy for the um the stomach a easy oh, quick week day. Day. oh guys and the brussels sprouts have a whole host of benefits of oh, good wealth of benefits the brussels sprouts have and some of the benefits are it fights inflammation it prevents bladder, breast, colon, lung, prostate, and ovarian cancer. It lower cholesterol. It prevents constipation. Yes, yes, yes. And it supports immune function. And it's a good source of folic acid. And so Brussels sprouts is very good to be eaten during pregnancy because folic acid is one of those um, things that you need a lot of when you're pregnant. And it also detoxifies the body. Yeah. So the thing said. Yeah, the belly TV. Dinner on a Tuesday. Never looked this great. Hello, Rose Sewell. Good evening to you. Snapper fish. I love it. Hello, nice. Rose Sewell. Big up yourself, Rose. So yeah, this is it, guys. And this is just an inspiration. Hope you guys are inspired by it. And if you don't like one or um a couple of the ingredients substitution is the name of the game all right mm -hmm. and as usual guys let me tell you one of the very good things with brussels sprouts and love balsamic dressing or balsamic vinegar so you don't have to go ham with it but you can just <laughs> add go it. Bacon with it you can go bacon yeah <laughs> you can add a little brussels sprout a little um, balsamic vinegar to the dish all right mm -hmm. and this is just you just drop it all around your plate nice yeah so comment down below and let us know if this is something that you would eat and you can drink some vita coca water with it mm -hmm. all right to make sure so you keep up your structure <laughs> yeah or if you want to be even more gourmet and fancy you can get a glass of white wine oh, right? white wine yes girl snapper and white wine goes very well. It pairs very well together. Go on, my girl. Mm. So you want to try? You want to try some of the Brussels sprouts on the camera? Can give a, a tasting plate, you know? Okay. Yeah, give a little tasting plate, guys, so we can get a full vibe of our go on. Round here. And then that means I'm going to that means I'm going to give you some of my fish. Oh, guys! While he shares my plate, guys, don't go no place because we have our one day Green Valley one day detox that you guys have to try you guys have to use this if you guys are in any way concerned about the your health if you're having any issues with bloating if you're having any issues with constipation if you have any issues with Mold you know in indigestion or you're just not going to the bathroom as frequent as you should yeah or if you just want more energy you have to take the green valley one day detox this is a wealth of herbs in a bottle you drink the entire bottle one go it's only eight ounces don't be intimidated eight fluid ounces you drink the bottle of it and stay home do not take it when you are leaving your yard or else you are on your own mm -hmm. and these are the ingredients very natural ingredients water moringa dandelion king of the forest sour sap leaf guinea hen weed jack in the bush inflammation weed leaf of life aloe vera tuna garlic vervain star of anise and cinnamon so you see for yourself all natural and this is a very good um de we call it now detox <laughs> detoxification thingy thing thing yeah in <laughs> order <sense>. to <laughs> in order to get your hands on a bottle of this contact us at the number in the chat the number is 305-204-1270. Yes, contact us at that number, 
And please do not contact us at 2 a.m. in the morning. Please. <laughs> I don't care where in the world you live. Do the maths and find out what time it is in South Florida. And do not contact the number anytime after midnight. Thank you and please. Okay? Okay. Again, 305-204-1270. To get your Green Valley One Day Detox or... To get any of our products from our natural hair product line or like the Jamaican black castor oil, which is our top seller, same number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the thing said, Claire said it looks healthy and delicious. No bacon with my fish, please. Okay, and I can't give me the bacon. <laughs> I'll show you for us, man. <laughs> All right, I love that water food. Looks good. Oh. And let me go take some This photos. is my plate. All right, so she gone, she gone our, our regular taste testing seat. So I'm going to carry the camera over to where she is right now presenting herself at the taste testing seat. <laughs> yes. All right, guys, moment of truth. Moment of truth. First of all. Do not skip the lemon step. Okay. Make sure you squirt your lemon on your fish. Uh -huh. Bless this meal to my body, I pray. We ask that you'll continue to provide for our needs. Bless the cook, no matter how we look. In Jesus' name. <laughs> I think this is a this is both our efforts. So, <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, tell me if you want to salt or what. So we're gonna test the, the Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts are good. My 30 year old self <laughs> would say it need more salt, but my over 40 year old self <laughs> is perfect. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, but you can put a little bit of salt. No, 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 no. no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The bacon. Everything. Oh, okay. Okay. So when you're eating, you can't pay attention to each individual. Marry the things. One, you know, compensate for the other. So the bacon has a little salt. Perfect. And now for the fish. Now for the, 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 the PSI. And guys, is capers is somewhat salty too, so... For the balance, make sure that the everything in the plate is not overly salty. All right, so let me get a piece of Brussels sprouts. But the flavor notes, the flavors are kicking, you guys. Mmm. Tastes good. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Oh, it's, uh... <laughs> it's good. I feel like you need to look at salt. Mm -hmm. A joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Denise Harris, I want to be a one true natural affiliate. <laughs> Here, Denise Harris says she wants to be a one true natural affiliate. Text me at the number, Denise. Denise, text her at the number. It's in the box right there. And it'll be surprised. Love that water food looks amazing. What that water food? What's water food? She loves the water, period. Okay. The coconut water. Oh, the coconut water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sunshine or oh, sunshine says I'm going to the veg. I'm going to do the vegan, and you can have a wonderful evening. It's a beautiful, beautiful dish. Back to work. Good night, everyone. Bless you, bless you, sunshine. And we're gonna be doing more vegan food um, coming up soon. Come on, I'm tasting. No, I'm not tasting. I'm not going on camera today. Why? Because I'm just so cute. <laughs> So guys, Brussels sprouts are very, very good, guys. We have to start incorporating some of these things in our diet. Brussels sprouts is an antioxidant. It is antibacterial and antiviral. It lowers cholesterol. It aids digestion and weight loss. It supports immune function. It is detoxifying. It is high in vitamin C. It is an excellent source of fiber. It is anti-inflammatory. It maintains a healthy heart. It provides healthy bone. It boosts brain function and it protects vision. Wait. That is Brussels sprouts. And wait, wait, wait. Tanya, are you still there? <laughs> and it's also a cruciferous vegetable. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you know, you know what that means. You know what that means? 
That's your homework for today. <laughs> it is crucifiable. It's not crucifiable. <laughs> crucifiable. And you know what? It's very fibrous, so it's filling. Right, right. It's not one of the lighter vegetables that will leave you feeling hungry. And it also, when it when you talk about aiding digestion, it's because when it go, when you when you when you digest um Brussels sprouts, it actually pull on whatever undigested oh. food is in your body when it's eliminating, you know. So it's very very good. And, and again, guys, if you want to give rice a break and you want something filling, yeah, yeah, all the right thing. And the apple with it works perfectly. So guys, make sure to say a like, share, subscribe, tell a friend about Yada Belly TV. This is our offering for today. Just a last look for those who just join us. We have uh, some pan fried snapper, yeah, with Brussels sprout. Um, it's an apple, it's an apple bacon Brussels sprout salad, yeah. And guys, I tell you, this is an awesome way to do dinner and take it all the way up. Um, Ray, the, the, the illist says, awesome, good recipe. And I sent it to my wife. Ray, she's going to love you for this. And you can get the snapper, Ray, and just deal with it. And every time we eat snappers, Jamaicans, we have to do it the same way. You understand? The ingredients are simple. Um, if you were to buy this, this meal, you would have pay upwards of $50 in the store, in the, in the, in the restaurant. I promise you that. You understand? But if you go to the supermarket and you pick up all the ingredients, you may vary a little bit less than $30. Again, depending on the fish. All right? So... I can tell you how much this meal is costing. How much? $8 for the fish. Mm-hmm. $3 for the um, Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. Mm, maybe 50 cents for the apple. Right. And what else? How much for the bacon? The bacon would be maybe... A dollar mm -hmm. for the four slices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're under twenty dollars. Yeah, Easy. under twenty dollar for a dish like this. You understand? And again, you can you can change the fish to to salmon if you want to use salmon. You know, you can. I mean, guys, it worth it. All right. Tilapia. Just don't use tilapia. The wife said, because she was like tilapia. Hell no. But guys, this is an awesome way to do a um for palico Tuesday evening dinner, and also put some good healthy food in your body try graham good afternoon to you sir why big up yourself like this all the time. <laughs> what why <laughs> was i eating like this all the time in my life <laughs> <laughs> because you never have a chef like me you understand and now you have a chef like me you're gonna get food like these hey, when you eat real food you know your body know it <laughs> what <laughs> say these things on no, camera saying, when you eat real food it's like <laughs> Your body can tell the difference. And your body say food. Satisfaction <laughs> guarantee. The what is song you have to sing when 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 um to all the, the guys out there? You have to sing the song we say, you better can cook. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's such an empty the plate. The <laughs> the all right, so guys, once again, this is our offering for today. A beautiful fillet of salmon. Tilapia isn't fish, it's fiction. <laughs> Prayer kid. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, beautiful piece of dish, this guys. And guys, you can try this in your neck of the woods. And of course, Yada Belly TV bringing it to you again. And that's not a banger. It's another banger. You understand? Guys, remember to like, share, subscribe, tell a friend about Yada Belly TV. It's the biggest thing since sliced bread. You understand? Share the video with and you. share the video with your friends. I thank you so much, Ray the Illes, for sharing the video. I know your wife is going to love it. She's going to say, oh, Ray. And that's what she's going to say. <laughs> Ray, me, me tell her friend now. She's going to say, oh, Ray. Yeah, because she love it. You understand? <laughs> so, guys, thank you guys for being here and for just hanging out with us today. Indiana Watson, blessings to you. Yeah, <laughs> it is a Fisher fiction. <laughs> but I'm telling you guys, trust me, this is a good one. Nice little dish, and this could serve maybe four people. Yeah, if you had a dinner roll with it, you could stretch it and, and serve four people. And yeah, it's awesome, it's awesome, it's awesome. So big up on yourself, manners and respect to you all. And of course, we're putting out more and more videos. So guys, stay tuned. Make sure you keep your notification bell rung so that you know when we're coming up next. And guys, if you're out there and you need, your body needs washout, check us. Text us. 
for the one day detox blessings to you guys and then he says it really look good have a great Thank night you. bless you denise guys big up on yourself all manners are respect i had done no yard belly tv live and laugh cook and of course eat member